Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris, I'm here with Kathy, and we go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We have another What's Old video for you today. It is Monday. Mondays are one of our busiest, if not our busiest day of the week, and with all the weekend sales coming in. So yeah, we're I think we're gonna pick eBay sales first, but you can kind of see the state of the office. We, uh, we recorded a haul video last night. That should be live before this video, and Kathy got all that typed in the spreadsheet this morning while I took Cyrus to school. And so now we're gonna pick some orders. I think eBay only yeah, we first. Have, um, several bundle sales, so I just wanna get those all packed yeah. up before I even start on the others, cause otherwise it gets crazy. We don't wanna so. get too much on our plate at one time, cause then it's too hard to manage, so. So box K, this first one is a bundle. I don't think it's to a viewer because they did not say, say so. anything, <laughs> but I had a couple other bundles that were two viewers, so. This one though, what am I looking for? <laughs> Bowden, oh there it is. Oh, you're catching on the box L, there you go. So I'll show you the total in a minute. And then DI. They're both Bowdoin items, and they actually bought them like two days apart. So I've been sending offers to anybody that's watching stuff. So must have sent them an offer on this one they purchased, and the next day sent them an offer on this one and they purchased. So, um, so it wasn't purchased as a bundle, but we're gonna ship it out. Yeah, because it's the same buyer and as combined shipping. Yeah. yeah. So the total they paid for both was thirty-seven seventy-nine. So this is Bowdoin like corduroy pants, and then a Bowdoin raglan shirt. The shirt was my son, so I did pay $15 for it. The pants I got from the Once Upon a Child in Nebraska for $5.50. So I have about $20.50 into them, and they sold for $37.79. So had they not sold as a bundle, you know, I would have lost money on the shirt that was my son's. Mm -hmm. But since they did sell in a bundle, obviously I'm making less profit on the corduroy pants than I would have, but I did not lose any money on the shirt that I bought for my son. So that's awesome. And yeah, she did pay shipping on both, but it was only like eight something for shipping. And now that they're together, they're going to go in a padded flat rate, which is almost eight bucks anyway. So not a whole lot of a refund to send her there. All right. And then a Harley shirt. I sold a few Harley shirts this weekend, at least two, I think. <laughs> I say a few, but it might just be two. Uh, so this one is... It sold for $36.35 plus shipping. So again, I have $10.67 into each of these guys. And we have two of that same style, just different sizes, right? Yep, and so, the other one sold this weekend, but on Facebook. Okay, so cool. We'll so I was gonna say, if they both sold on eBay, we might wanna no. differentiate them somehow, but so we don't send the wrong size to somebody, two people. So this is just an H&M Kids sweatshirt. This is, again, was my son's, but I only paid two fifty dollars for it. He wore it, he got a little water spot stain on it. And I still sold it for $9.99 plus shipping. And then BR. Sold another polo golf shirt for $31.80 plus ship. I have about $10 into each of these. And then BG. Hey, these are heading out to a viewer, Samantha, who said, love your channel. Thanks for sharing your knowledge. So these awesome. are some Bernie Mev flats. Um, my first time trying this brand. Picked them up for $5.99, and Samantha purchased them for $21.50 plus shipping. Awesome. Thank you so much for the support, Samantha. Yes, thank you so much. Hope you enjoy the shoes. Those are cool. I like the, yeah, I do like the, the woven colors. <laughs> colors. Um, and then these last two are also the viewer bundle, so box AE. The Nebraska Huskers sweatshirt and the Nebraska Huskers hat. All right, must be a, a, Huskers, a Huskers fan, fan right? <laughs> so these are going out to Jennifer. So Jennifer, thank you so much. She um, paid thirty-eight seventy-nine plus shipping. She did double pay shipping, so I'm gonna send her a refund once I figure out how much I have to ship these for. And yeah, so thank you so much. I had about $7 into those two items. 
Yes, thank you so much for the support. Hope you enjoy them and hope your team does well. We don't really follow college no. ball but, <laughs> or any ball <laughs> for that matter, but not really. totally understand. I used to watch a lot of football when I was younger, but just don't have much time to do that any day <laughs> nowadays. <laughs> realized I didn't write down the boxes for these last few oh, items. Well, this will show them how long it takes. So, the... so we just do a quick control F and you can search the sheet. And, the and she's writing down the box locations now. It's it's... Oh, you didn't do it on the whole order. Right. <laughs> I just like, <laughs> I wrote all the items, but I didn't write where they were from. We are kind of uh, experimenting a little bit with List Perfectly. Um, List Perfectly has a place where you could put seller notes so that doesn't get pushed out to your listings, which is a great place to put inventory location. And it, it would make it a lot easier for picking like this. Instead of having to search, it would just all be ready. So that's something we're kind of experimenting with a little bit. And hopefully we'll be able to show you guys that and maybe make our process a little bit more efficient along the way. One of those Love Never Fails t-shirts. And then BD, is that what I wrote? <laughs> My BP? BP? Yeah, BP. These are some Choco shoes. These have taken, taken? <laughs> taken. <laughs> These have taken a while to sell, and I don't know why. I think they're really nice shoes, so I'm glad you grabbed these. Um, and then we got DD. Bottom left. There it is. <laughs> uh, this is this is one of my favorite shirts. Both my kids have worn it. It's the brand Bandit Kids. This is the only thing I've ever had of it. It is organic cotton, but um, it just says all kids are cool. So. I just loved the shirt. And then box R. Talbot's um, Merino wool sweater. So, yeah, she picked up those four items. This is going out to Michelle. Thank you so much, she said. I left it open, I thought. Uh, just wanted to say I'm a fan of your show. I've learned so much. Keep up the good work. Happy Mother's Day. So, thank you so much. Thank you. You Michelle. said, Michelle, thank you so much for the support, Michelle. Hope you enjoy everything. <laughs> everything and hope you had a great Mother's Day as well. Seems yeah. like you ha at least have a little one. So sixty-one seventy-eight plus shipping. And again, I'm going to send her a partial once I yeah. figure out what we're paying. I feel like I heard an eBay sale off, did I? I thought it was just a message. message. So that could be good or bad. We'll find out. Well, let's see. <laughs> oh, you'll find out right now. My shoes fit perfectly. Thank you for such good price and fast shipping. Oh. I left you great feedback. Awesome. So awesome. Yeah, we need to leave her some feedback. Actually, eBay sent me a message. Leave feedback for your buyers, which I always just, it's not that I don't, I just forget. We so. do automatically reciprocate. Oh, okay. So, so anytime really we get good. a good feedback, our it just automatically gives good feedback back. So maybe I'll at least do the ones that haven't yeah. with us in hopes that they do, because we're almost at a thousand. I think we're at nine ninety two. That's so. awesome. Yeah. All right, I, so we're going to pack these guys This is up. eBay? Yep, and then we'll be right back with the rest of the platforms. All right, got that stuff packed up. And what, you said we've got Posh and Mercari now? Yep, Posh and Mercari, and then we'll come back for a third time. So um, first up on Posh was these Old Navy Rockstar jeans that we got at the Denver Vins. Um, so about a dollar and some change into them. Someone offered me 10 bucks. I think I had them listed at 20. They're just old navy. They don't retail for a ton to begin with. And I like to keep that cash flow coming in. So I accepted 10 bucks. I make 705. So it's like a five, six dollar profit and a very fast flip. So. Nice. And then box A. You're in the way, Mr. Reese. Uh, these are <laughs> some Dynafit, like a trail sneaker. I got these at Salvation Army. They had them on the expensive rack marked up, but they had them as kids, so they only marked them up to $5.24 instead of their $2.99 or whatever the normal price is. So $5.24 into these. I thought they'd sell for more, but I've had them for probably six months at least at this point, and they 
I just got my first offer of 25 so I just accepted. So I made yeah. 20 bucks. Happy with that. We are way they more were, likely to accept. They're a small size, so like a six. Yeah. I just, Which probably t made it <laughs> yeah. take longer to sell, and that's when we start accepting those low offers. <laughs> get it moving. Get the money out. Reinvest. Yep. And then, this will be these Ralph Lauren golf shorts. So I got these at TJ Maxx a while back for 7 Sold them for 40 with discount shipping. So that was it for Posh. And then former car resale, so AM. Um, it's this Disney Animal Kingdom t-shirt. So it just has like that on the front and then the back has a pretty cool graphic on it. So this was Disney Resort. So it probably cost a lot in the park to begin with. But I sold it on Mercari for $13 plus shipping and I had $1.50 into that from Salvation Army. Box S. Sold these little baby sea kai run fisherman sandals for $22. That was an offer we accepted. Um, my average cost of goods the day I bought these at Once Upon a Child was $5.95. So $5.95 into $22. Okay, again. <laughs> This is the brand Rags to Ratches, I think is how you say it. Um, so I got this at that JBF sale. This technically was only $2.50, but since I threw it in with the dresses and averaged my cost of goods, we're calling it an $11 item. Yeah. So $11, and then I accepted a $24 off for sale, like a $9 profit on that. And then box AD. Uh, AD Bo Hudson. So these are some Bo Hudson denim black shorts, and I accepted an offer of 20 for these. I have five dollars into them. So, That's that for that. now. Yep, and we'll be back with kids right. and Facebook. A few more to pack up. All right, we are back. Got that stuff packed up, and now we're gonna finish up with kids and kids yep. and, and Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I do have two here just because I listed them this weekend and hadn't put them away yet. So first up is a pearl lamb hoodie. It just has fries all over it, and it says organic, which is funny. Um, so yeah, this is, that was my son's hoodie. I don't remember what I paid for it. I got it off Kittizen. I don't think I paid more than like 25 I ended up selling it for $30 free ship, so probably making most, if not all, my money back on that. And then this is a childhood's hoodie. I'm pretty sure I bought this retail, so about $40 into it. It sold for $36 plus shipping, so making most of my money back on that. It is childhood's hoodie season. We've sold I guess, yeah. like it's 10. It's because it's like, I mean, I guess you wear hoodies in the summer, but. All right, this I'm so excited to finally sell. So this got lost in our inventory somehow. Like it was listed. And then I couldn't find it, and then I finally found it, and then I relisted it, and it sold in like a week or two after that. So the brand is Rosa Flamingo. That's their tag. If you ever see it, it has a little flamingo on it. So, But uh, it's spelt with a C instead of a yeah, G? Yeah, flamingo. That's the person's name. Anyways, uh, this is, they just like hand make dresses and stuff like that. Mm. So this is like a little, I don't know if it's a dress or a top, but it comes with like matching shorts. And it's like Disney villain print. So it's, it was a, such oh, a yeah. cool outfit. Melissa Fent on there. That's or why Maleficent. I was like, what's well, taking so long for that to sell? And then I realized like it somehow just wasn't like listed. I don't know. So once I got it relisted, it sold fairly quickly. So yeah, uh, 30, where am I? $35 plus shipping is what I got for that. And because it like somehow dropped from our spreadsheet, I don't remember what I paid for it exactly. It came from Once Upon a Child, so it was somewhere between four fifty to six fifty. So not much either way. So worst case scenario, six fifty into thirty five is really good. All right, and then last kit is in sale box Q. These are some kids Adidas sneakers, and I have seven dollars into them. I sold them for twenty dollars plus shipping. And then Facebook, box B. These are some Clark sandals. So these I got in Nebraska for $3.99, sold them for $20 plus shipping. And then AT. Okay. 
These are some Crocs that we got at the Denver bin, so part of the stimulus check challenge. I had them listed at 25 plus ship. Someone asked me if I do 20 plus ship, so since I only have about a dollar into them, I said yes. So she bought those. And then last sale is box X. This is that other exact same Harley shirt, but in a 3X instead of a 2X. So this one actually sold for more on Facebook than it sold, the other one sold on eBay. This sold for $40 plus shipping. Very so nice. Really good. And that's yeah. lower fees. Although we did, yes. we did just see one of our friends, uh, Rocky Mountain. Yeah. I was just looking at his story. Yeah, Greg down at, what is his channel? Um, <laughs> or what is his? Rocky Mountain Resellers. resellers. Rocky Mountain Resellers. Or Rocky Resell. Mountain Resale. I'll try to pull it up. Anyways, I was just looking through his stories and he had some sort of issue with, yeah, Greg, Rocky Mountain Resale. Yeah. So some sort of issue with Facebook. Like I've been seeing a lot of people have this issue. So it's kind of making me nervous again because yeah. I was, I'm excited to finally get back on there. We've been making sales, but um, what was it that happened? Basically, his whole account got shut down, and and he had a bunch people, of money in limbo too, right? Like, yeah, it looks like he has yeah money that hasn't been paid out yet, and so he's kind of like, what's going on? Yeah, so ugh, it makes me like <laughs> not want to post on Facebook again. So I don't know. Yeah, we're, that kind of shook us a little bit. Greg is is uh, one of the – he's been helping us out through getting started on Facebook Marketplace. He's like our resident expert. He actually lives a little bit south of us. And, yeah, he's we've been asking him questions. He's been answering, helping us. I think he was on our live when we were, sh we were cross-listing there. Um, and he was just giving us all pointers. And, yeah, they just – seized his account or like suspended his account he's got For money no reason, like, in limbo and he doesn't know why and he's you know he's in the know he's he knows people that have experienced the same thing and a lot of them are having a hard time getting them to open their accounts up again and even get their payouts so yeah, we're kind of a little worried <laughs> yeah, facebook doesn't really seem to have any sort of good customer service or any customer service which sucks because we've so. been selling pretty good on there yeah but now we haven't our... encountered any problems yet but it's definitely worrisome so. yeah so what do you guys think? Should we continue to roll the dice and keep our listings and keep listing on Facebook Marketplace? Or should we wait until they get things handled and figured out? I don't like, know. I don't worry about my account <laughs> being suspended as much as like the money, the money that's being... because you don't get paid out until a few days after yeah. it's been delivered. So like if you start selling like 10 items a day or something, that's a lot of items that you're going to not get paid yeah. for. Yeah, there's quite the a big stretch so. of that delay that kind of is in limbo but anyway let us know your thoughts down below greg i'm sorry you're dealing with that uh, hopefully it gets handled very quickly and we'll, we'll update you guys as to whenever we find out what happens with all that but right now we're going to pack this stuff up and we'll be right back all right guys we got everything finished shipped ready to go just got to take it off to the post office now we haven't really done anything other than that because that's just how Mondays are, but... Yeah, I mean, that that's going to help out that I got all that typed in already, so then it's mostly ready to list. Yeah. Uh, this Hulkin bag's just full of stuff that's already listed and needs to get bagged up and just put away. So we'll do that probably as soon as we're done here, because I need the bag to take to the post office. Yeah, and we need to get this table. Um, this table's got stuff that we've been yeah. meaning to get to for probably over a week now. We're probably gonna put these things in like various bins so like do a shoe bin and that will be like one day of yeah. photographing batch them up uh yeah shorts or pants and then dresses and tops as one day so yeah um and i still have everything in that gray bucket is already drafted still this gray bucket I here the bucket over the weekend and then okay hopefully i can uh drew thrifts and flips and joey bada bing they always have a live listing on monday so i'll probably try to knock some of those out tonight while watching them yeah. and chatting with some other resellers so it's always fun to like chat with other people we like to hang out on monday nights we don't chat a whole yeah. lot because we're doing a lot of work but yeah it gets lonely we watch them all the time being here <laughs> by yourself but it's still better yeah. than working a real job so. right and then we did have a garage sale coming up well it's a community okay. one <laughs> Someone left their door knocker on our door last night. Oh, and I, I think, think it was it's the 22nd. The... So we're going to probably try to get a few things together 
probably some of our some, stuff that some we sold so inventory but also yeah jbf stuff items yeah or jbf i haven't got to go through any of that since the seal i threw it all in the garage and it's still sitting there so i still want to try to take that stuff to once upon a child because they'd still probably give me more per piece than i'd get at a garage sale yeah um, so take it there whatever they don't take i'll bring back put on a tarp in our yard and hopefully people buy it for like 50 cents even <laughs> just to get rid of it because I still want to do JBF, but I kind of just want like a fresh start. Fresh it up, yeah, because we have a lot of stuff that we've taken it's to bad. many sales. Yeah, and I kind of got worried with that last, I didn't make it to that sale, but the Castle Rock sale where it said if your tags are over two years old, then you can't bring them, which mm. some of mine were, but that's mostly because I haven't made it to a sale, not necessarily because they didn't sell for so long. Right. So, yeah. We this weren't way, able to make a bunch of sales this year. I'm just going to like almost zero out my inventory and just start from scratch. So, yeah. So, yeah. That's what we're working on. <laughs> That's, like Kathy said, that's what we are working on. So hopefully you guys had a great weekend, had a great Mother's Day. Uh, but, yeah, we're going we're gonna to get back to work and start plugging away at all this stuff. So thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.